the video overlap there, but we went ahead and took a uh, Heaven Ghoul Lich. Reason to play blue, I guess. Uh, there's not. Oh. We do have a lot of colored cards in our deck, but I think I'll just take another piece of fixing. Brushlands, all right. None of these cards are too exciting for me. We don't have a ton of playables right now, so that would be an argument to take one of these other cards. But I think with how many colors we are, we're we're gonna find enough playables in this deck. I don't know if we're gonna play this. <laughs> Not sure where this uh, where this deck is going, but. I think this is a card we might do the most with. I mean, if we could, like, have some kind of sack outlet and then, like, cast it, I'm not sure, but nothing here really excites me, so. Hmm. Seems like a pretty good card. Especially with, um, like, Soren. Seems good with the Deranged Hermit. Turn your, your graveyard to the battlefield. Um. Yeah, I think we'll take an Attrition. I think that's alright. We could take the Deranged Hermit, but... Really wish we had... More, more ways of getting creatures to the graveyard. So far, we don't have a ton. Mm. I guess I'll take the Lion's Eye Diamond. Might go okay with Unburial Rites if we discard our hand and then use, like, Having Ghoul Lich to, like, cast something. I don't know. Nothing. I mean, I guess we could take Olivia, but... Man, that's a stretch on the mana base. Yeah, I'll take an LED. So, well, I think I'll just take Ultimate Price, that's fine. I think there are more monocolored creatures than there are non-black creatures. Although I could be wrong on that. Gate, Flash Freeze, Mystic Snake. I think I'll take a Negate. And... Despise seems actually pretty good with, like, uh, Enemy Dead and the Having Ghoul Lich, so we may actually just main board that Despise if we uh, run short on playables here. I actually kind of like the uh, the Crag and the Dragon Skull Summon a little more with Having Ghoul Lich, because now that card can just pretty much cast anything in any graveyard. Uh, yeah, we'll take Null Sun's Dawn. <sighs> okay, what is this deck doing? Frantic Search is actually one of the better ways of discarding a creature card to the graveyard. Um, since we don't really have a ton of ways to do that so far, I might just want to take this. Especially since on turn 3 we could untap the 3 lands and then animate dead, or turn 4, like discard and burial rights in a creature and then do it. Um, don't have a ton of synergies with Venzer. I think we'll just go ahead and take Frantic Search. Stoneforge Mystic. Supreme Verdict. For a plane, so we can dig up a Hallow Fountain and a Tundra. It's not that insane. I'm wondering if we want to take a leak here. Just go more blue, because we have 
three blue sources here. Uh, we could also take the Devoted Druid. It's decent, but not too exciting. I think we'll take the Mana Leak and just kind of hope one of these blue-black lands comes back around. We really need some reanimator targets. Living Death. Ooh, speaking of reanimator targets, Terrastodon. Yeah, I think we'll take a Terrastodon. I, I mean, I'd love to take Living Death, but we just don't have any creatures to... Man, if this wheel, that'd be sick. Yeah, Terrastodon, we just need... I'd like to add one other way to discard cards to the graveyard as well. Still Moon, Nickel Bolas, which we actually could play Nickel Bolas. Uh, Lotus Cobra we could definitely play. I actually kind of like the Lotus Cobra. Uh, tough pick here. I think I want to take the Lotus Cobra just because then we can kind of lean more towards our green mana. And with Farseek and Lotus Cobra. Yeah. Uh, Nickel Bolas is great and all. Be probably the most fun card to play with, but I don't know about the best. Is there any? Huh. Yeah, I guess Lotus Cobra is fine. Uh, speaking of ways to discard cards to a graveyard, and Sprawler. Yeah, we definitely need that at this point. We just... I mean, I'd love to take Garrick Relentless or Phyrexian Arena or go for the throw. Like, a lot of those cards are very, very good, but, um... Una Sprawler is awesome, too, and the fact that we can pitch cards and then reanimate them makes it fit our deck a little bit better. So, top three cards of your graveyard... Probably not the best, considering we're using our graveyard. Uh, regrowth isn't bad. Uh, Moments Peace isn't a terrible sideboard card. Yeva's not awful, but pretty mana intensive. I think we'll just take a regrowth. Speaking of reanimator decks, I'd love to take the Misty, but that's not the pick. Uh, I think it's Shouldered, just to have more creatures to play. Shouldered's a bomb, even just casting it 4-7. Genesis is awesome. Thoughtseize is amazing, too, um, just because you can Thoughtseize their best creature and then anim animate dead it. But I think we're just going to take a Shouldered, because it does such a good job of taking the game over. I like Entomb quite a bit. I like the Revoker, because Revokers... I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide... Can I hide land? Yeah. I hide land... Okay, so I have 23 cards here. Entomb seems like it fits our deck pretty well, so I think I'm just gonna take it. Because it's any card, right? Yeah. Godless Shrine... Well, I'd love to take the Relic just to hate draft it, but I don't think that's the right pick. I think I'd rather just improve our deck a little bit and take the Godless Shrine. Our mana is stretched as far as it can go, so yeah. And we can far seek for that, so that's pretty good. I don't know, brother's calling me. Adam, do we call? Hey, I'm doing a video recording right now, Mike. I'll, uh, what are you recording? A cube. I'll share it with you. Are you drafting? Yeah, we're in pack three. Ooh. Um, I think I'm gonna take. Well, Tithe isn't terrible now that we got the Godless Shrine, so I think Tithe might actually be alright. Yeah, whatever. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, Gloom Surgeon. Oh, this is really awesome. Uh, we have a lot of lands that are hidden as well. <laughs> Do you have any reanimate other than the animate dead? Oh, you have rights. 
Unburial rites, yeah. And even the entombed except unburial rites if I sit in the graveyard.